all these different crowds all over the country and have everybody know who we are. I just want to go do it all over again. Yeah. We never sold out any shows in LA or headline. We never headlined LA, yeah. but we'd always wanted to. So yeah, that felt awesome. Dude. It's one of my favorite crowds. Um, totally, me too. And his favorite nights of the tour. Uh, it felt like a hometown show because we didn't do one in San Francisco on the tour. There were definitely some people I think from the Bay Area at the LA yeah. show too. So that's pretty rad. Yeah. Um, and also, that was one of the shows where, where Keegan from Final Theater was sick and they unfortunately couldn't perform. We remembered that the Griswolds were in town recording, um, so we called them up like literally while we were driving down to LA. Like, yo, like, you guys want to do this? And then uh, they were just like, yeah, sure. <laughs> it was pretty easy. It was a lot easier than I thought. They were just like down for whatever, so it was awesome. And uh, that like really made the show super fun too, because yeah. they performed under a secret name. And um, and we just had a blast because we hadn't seen those guys in like a year or more. It's yeah, they definitely saved that a little bit. We yeah. were thinking, I mean, you know, LA was been sold out for, uh, it had been sold out at least a month in advance, and um, we knew, you know, people were expecting like us and Vinyl Theater, and it's like it would kind of suck to like have just one of the main acts drop off and then kind of have no one to fill that role. So it was really, really lucky we got the Griswolds because they definitely filled that role perfectly. Yeah. So they made it a yeah, they made a very complete night for everyone even though Final Theater couldn't do that. Um, San Diego was next. San Diego. We did that thing before. We did a little radio thing uh, oh, yeah, we with like 94.9. People uh, watched our sound check. Yeah, that was a first where people come in like and they filmed and watched the sound check. So yeah. it was kind of weird. We didn't really know what to do, like if we yeah. should, should really perform or not. No. We don't really rock out at sound check. No. We kind of save that for the so show. That, that but felt, I was like eating a sandwich. And yeah. That was pretty funny. Chilling. But, you know, shout out to 94.9. They're a really cool station. Yeah. And we appreciate them being there and helping out. Yeah, those people cool. there were nice. Yeah. The crowd was cool. The great, show was awesome. Great show in San Diego. Yeah. Was, we played the House of Blues. We headlined the House of Blues, which is crazy. It was, it was like, like a Monday night. Monday too. night. People showed up. Yeah. It, was, it was really dope. Yeah. It was, um, Definitely, we've, we've always loved playing in San Diego, and especially recently, the more and more we come out there, um, like this crowd and the one before on the Blurry Face Tour, when we did that one, loved both those shows a lot. So yeah. we're definitely looking forward to coming back to San Diego again as well. And we went to Phoenix. Yeah. Phoenix was really cool. Phoenix. Um, that was another sold out show. It was so awesome. Yeah. Yeah. We, another favorite crowd. We never really played Phoenix that much, and we played there once on the Toronto Pilots Tour, and maybe one other time before that. Um, so we had no idea to like expect such a crazy crowd that was like super pumped to see it. So, yeah. I don't know, it was just really awesome. The crowd really blew us away because we were just in some like basement, tiny room, um, and it was, a, it was a party. They were singing like every word, and it was just such a cool, cool experience. To, I love when the crowds are singing every word. You know, it's yeah. a, a fantastic crowd when they're singing all the verses as well. It's one of the most energetic crowds of the tour. Totally. And one of the first shows to sell out too. Oh yeah. Sold out that like one in LA days. sold out first. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no. More slobber. Yeah, so Dallas. The crowd was really good, I remember, for that show. I mean, everything, I don't know, I feel like the, it's one of those rooms where everything just feels really good on the stage. Like, yeah. the crowd was awesome. You could hear everyone in the crowd really well, and you could feel, like, the stage, like, the rumbling of the subs and stuff. It was, I love when that kind of happens. Yeah. And it was Austin. Austin was next. Austin was super fun. Austin was cool. It, yeah. yeah, Austin's a city we never go to, really, except for South by Southwest. Yeah. Um, we don't really have much of a tour history there, so. But it's a super fun city to hang out yeah, in. Yeah, it's one of our favorite cities, though. It was not really our market, and we got to play to a lot of new people. Mm -hmm. and kind of test out our headline set in front of new people. Um, yeah. That was cool. We um, got Torchies. Got Torchies tacos. Got Voodoo Donuts, yeah. which is like right next door, which is awesome. Went out to some bars on 6th Street with some of Vinyl Theater. That was a funny time. Yeah. yeah. It's always fun hanging out with Vinyl Theater. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Also, the day of the Austin show, when we were driving over, we went to Bucky's, mm -hmm. our favorite gas station ever. Gas stations are lame, but you spend so much time there, and then you come across Bucky's, and it's just like your mind is blown. It's like the Disneyland. It is. Gas it's like the Disneyland gas station. Houston was yes. the last show of the okay. tour, and um, that was also a really bittersweet one because you know then we can't really hang out with Vinyl Theater anymore and um, see all these awesome crowds come out every night. Um, and yeah. luckily, that crowd was super awesome, so it was a great Houston great was a very, off. very fun crowd and a good way to end it, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was a great time. We uh, we went on during Vinyl Theater set and threw toilet paper all around them. Yeah. We tried to wrap Keegan up, but it didn't really work. Um, yeah, I wrapped Chris pretty hard. Yeah, nice. It was fun. 
Yeah, that's, that's a good one. Uh, and um, they came on during our set. Keegan was wearing this like box of like beer. Yeah, it's great. We uh, have to see it. we did an Pictures. encore of um, of Jumper by Third Eye Blind, uh, which we did sometimes on the tour. And uh, oh. <laughs> we just, just, everybody we just had everyone come on. Whoever was already playing something just attempted it, so it was yeah. really sloppy. Michael but learned it like my, the hour before. Yeah, Michael just like learned it right before going on stage. Oh yeah, and then after the Houston show, we had to fly out mm -hmm. the next morning, like super early, because we were playing in San Francisco the next day um, with Fall Out Boy and AOL Nation. We, yeah. we toured with AOL Nation before in Europe, and so it was really cool to see them again. And yeah. I mean, they were good then too, but the, the, their show, yeah, uh, this one was amazing. incredible. It was ridiculous. Yeah. Um, yeah. The ones to watch tour was so fun. It was such a cool experience for us to kind of, for the first time, go across the country and like get to play to our own fans and get to hear them singing our lyrics back to us. And yeah. um, just doing that in all these different cities we've barely ever been to, or that, or especially the ones that we've been working for years. You know, just going back and playing to nobody for so many years and to finally like kind of see it all turn around and like now we're going we're playing to like packed houses and stuff was like a very very cool experience for us yeah something that's blowing. very hard to describe how how mind-blowing it is yeah seriously look out for summer tour dates we have a lot of different random festivals coming mm -hmm. up and uh Some opening dates with it's in the tantrum yeah, yeah so hopefully we'll be back near people soon enough uh and then if not we'll be doing more and more touring so yeah can't wait to get back out and do it all over again definitely